shade, yeah. no matter the skin shade you have, there's always someone yeah. somewhere that looks like, like you. you. And you said, well, you know, you know, you said welcome back home, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, welcome back home. Yeah. It's, I know that on this trip, they're going to have a wonderful time. Now, we may have an itinerary, yeah. but I don't play by the books. I don't play by the road. Is that a good thing, Jimmy? <laughs> now, oh, what man. I do is, what I do is, make sure you are excited. We'll make it creative for each other. We know we have our itinerary, but we'll be very creative. Okay. It's about what you want. Yes. It's about yeah. discovering yourself. Right. It's about roots and reconnection. Yeah. Uh, that is what, what you guys are here for, and that's what you are going to experience. Right. Yeah. You're, you're James, right? Yeah, I'm James. <laughs> so, yeah. So, 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 whatever you said goes. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Okay, yeah, yeah. My, my, my name is Anago James Akim Osho. Osho. Yeah, uh, I'm a tour Akeem. guide. Okay, uh, we do one or two tour operations too. You know, I'm an historian. Or, you know, recently some people came. The guy is a professor. I have his card. I, I think something Davis is a professor, and there's another institute inside University of Lagos called Diaspora Diaspora African Institute. It's new for master's degree student, and he's in America, but he's there right now. And he came. I took them around, and we we're talking about DNA. You know. Don't let me bore you with my words. No, go ahead. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no. Oh, by the way, we're in Lagos. Okay. Uh, we're in Lagos. Oh, good. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that Lagos. He's a professor. You see, he's promoting Igbo and Yoruba culture right now. And he's talking about reconnection. We need our connection. So many things are right. So many things are wrong. But we need that relationship to make it right. That is why you guys are here. You're not just here to see what we have. You are back home. You're back home. Okay, this is where you belong. You know, this is home. And yeah, this is home. But yet, where you're coming from is also very important. But this is home. Yeah. We can do with the connection. Yeah. You live there. You know the mindset of the people we are talking about. Yeah. Now we are here, and you are originally from here. Now you are coming home. It's easy for you when you get assimilated. You already know the problem of the people here, and you know the mindset of the people over there. It's easy for you to help us to balance the whole situation. Mm -hmm. We need you. I wrote an article on my blog titled African American Development and uh, African American and African Development. You can Google that. African American, African American History and African Development. African American History and African so Development. It's talking about the collaboration. Now, in that particular I talk, I tried to talk about us in Africa, some of our shortcomings, some of the things we are doing that are wrong, and yet, some of the things you can do to be a part of us it's not necessarily coming with finance but there are so many things we can do together knowledge technology wise because we are who we are i'm not from the school of thought that we should try to be like you i'm not from the school of thought that we should try to be like the chinese they are breeding skyscrapers they are doing all this and that we should develop who we are as a person and use our own mind use our own history use our own our own art to develop and be creative the chinese did it the japanese they did it but you see the whole world is afraid of us and we are sitting down relaxing as if we don't even know what's going on there's international propaganda but i tell people that whatever the international propaganda is about i'm not concerned about that i'm concerned about us for us to discover who we are, for us to really know who we are. Once you are able to discover yourself, you know who you are, because our politics, our politics is not European politics. We have our way of doing things, and it worked thousands of years ago. There are so many tribes. How were those tribes coexisting that time? 
and now there is crisis here and there. I'm not saying there was no crisis that time, there were no wars, but those kingdoms, they have their ways of coexisting. So what is the problem now? That everyone is quarreling with each other. You see, something is going on underneath. But we need to know all that and be selfless and not be greedy, corrupt. We are supposed to be that. Because if we don't learn the basics, it will be very difficult for brothers and sisters in diaspora to really walk with us. Everywhere I go, I let young people those are younger than me, those are of my own generation, and those that are older than me in political position, I let them really understand some of these basics. If we don't understand the basics, we don't go back to organize ourselves, I don't know what the future holds. But yet, the future is very, very great. It's very bright. We start from our homes by teaching our children, okay, by affecting our communities. I'm concerned about black communities in diaspora too. Our friends in Chicago, you know, we know what happens in those places. And at times, we know, also know what happens in some places in Alabama, you know. And um, I don't know, ma'am, we have to do something about Alabama. Alabama is important in the movement. Alabama is very important. There are so many colleges, there are so many universities in Alabama. And yet, there are so many black folks who don't go to school there. Some of them... I don't know their problem. We should take hold of the opportunities and go to school and develop ourselves. Because Africa is in Alabama. Africa is in Alabama. And we have to do something. There are other places like ATL and the rest, but Alabama is very, very important. The people there may not be conscious of it, but at times when I think about Alabama, some of them feel bad things are not going right. I say things are right. You make it go right. Just like I tell our own people here in Africa. Anyway, we are going to have a wonderful time moving around. And the history we are going to be hearing or listening to today is hard fact. I'll tell you the truth. How it is. So that we can reorganize ourselves and we as individuals we know our weaknesses and we know our strength. As I take you around, ideas will begin to pump up at the back of your mind. Some of the ideas that will pump up at the back of your mind will really help you when you get back home. You may need to set up an NGO, but an idea will pump up at the back of your mind. What you will do to develop your community, what you will do that, that you can do to help communities here, back home in Africa. Ideas, because as we talk and we move around, you see things. Ideas begin to pump at the back of your mind. You're welcome home, family. I'm excited to meet you guys.